بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم پروفیسر حسن اینڈ یو آر واچنگ مائی چینل پروفیسر حسن ہمایوں یسٹرڈے آن سیونٹینتھ سپتمبر ٹو تھاؤزنڈ ٹوینٹی ون فرائیڈے ایف پی ایس سی فیڈرل پبلک سروس کمیشن کنڈکٹڈ آ ریٹرن ٹیسٹ فار دا پوسٹ آف اسٹیٹسٹیکل آفیسر ڈیٹ از اے ویری امپورٹنٹ ٹیکنیکل اینڈ کنسیپچول ٹیسٹ فار آل دا اسٹوڈنٹس آف اسٹیٹسٹکس ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی اشور یو اف یو ریوائز آل دا کانسیپٹس آف نومیریکل اینڈ تھریٹیکل کوشچنس آف اسٹیٹسٹکس فرام مائی لیکچرز ویڈیوز فار دا پورشن آف اسٹیٹسٹکس ان شاء اللہ یو ول بی سلیکٹیڈ یو ول اچیو یور گول یو ول پاس ایوری ریٹرن ٹیسٹ آف اسٹیٹسٹکس یسٹرڈے آئی ریسیو دا میسیج فرام ون آف مائی اسٹوڈنٹس عمر فاروق الحمد للہ ہی ہیز بین سلیکٹیڈ لیکچرر اسٹیٹسٹکس اینڈ ہی واز ٹیلنگ می ڈیٹ ہی ہیز پریپیئرڈ آل دا کانسیپٹس آف اسٹیٹسٹکس فرام مائی لیکچرز ویڈیوز اینڈ ہی ہیز بین سلیکٹیڈ بائی دا گریس آف اللہ آئی ول ریکویسٹ یو بفور اسٹارٹنگ ٹو ڈیز امپورٹنٹ لیکچر آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ویری امپورٹنٹ کانسیپچول اینڈ ٹیکنیکل کوشچنس آف یسٹرڈیز پیپر آف ایف پی ایس سی بفور اسٹارٹنگ لیکچر آئی ریکویسٹ ایوری ون سبسکرائب ٹو مائی چینل لائک اینڈ شیئر مائی چینل اینڈ کلک دا بیل آئیکن فار دا نوٹیفیکیشنز آف دا نیکسٹ امپورٹنٹ ویڈیوز لیٹ اسٹارٹ کوشچن نمبر ون وچ ایوریج از موسٹلی افیکٹیڈ بائی دا آؤٹ لائرز اٹ از ارتھمیٹک مین ارتھمیٹک مین از دا کریکٹ آپشن ارتھمیٹک مین از موسٹلی افیکٹیڈ بائی دا آؤٹ لائرز وین ایور وی ہیو ایکسٹریم ویلیوز ان دا ڈیٹا دین ایوریج ول بی افیکٹیڈ ارتھمیٹک مین ول بی افیکٹیڈ موسٹلی کوشچن نمبر ٹو وچ ایوریج از لیس افیکٹیڈ بائی دا آؤٹ لائرز اینڈ دا آنسر از میڈین If you have outliers in your data, if you have extreme abnormal values in your data, then we arrange the data in ascending order and we take the central value. That's why median is not affected much as compared to other averages. The answer is median. Question number three of FPSC paper, a very important paper. <clears throat> Whenever we have pizza shaped graph, which type of graph is this? A very important one. It is pie chart. It is pie graph. Pie chart. It is pie graph. <clears throat> Question number four. CPI, consumer price index number, falls in which index? The answer is it falls in composite index numbers. Composite index numbers is the correct option in the exam and these questions can be asked in the written test of lecturer statistics, in the written test of statistical officer, in the written test of research officer, in the written test of all these papers of statistics like the statistician paper and these questions can also be asked in the interview. Please keep in mind. <clears throat> Question number five, a very important one. Area of the normal distribution within one standard deviation is 68% is the correct option in the exam. A very important one. Question number 6. When we have many outliers in the data, then which average is the most suitable one? Median is the correct option. Whenever we have many extreme values, abnormal values in the data, then median is the most suitable average. <clears throat> Question number seven, very important one. Sample mean is always what of what estimator of the population mean? Sample mean, which is x bar, is always unbiased estimator of the population mean. It means expectation of x bar is always equal to population mean. X bar is always unbiased estimator of the population mean. A very important concept. Question number 8. Very important question from the inference topic. When type 2 error occurs. <coughs> I will discuss two things with you.
dear students when we commit mistakes type 2 error when we accept the null hypothesis h not when it is false there is an error and that is called type 2 error please keep in mind and that can also be asked in the next paper when type 1 error occurs when we reject our null hypothesis when h not is true then we commit the mistake and that is called type 1 error please keep in mind when we accept the null hypothesis h not when it is false it is type 2 error and whenever we reject our null hypothesis h not when it is true then it is type 1 error <coughs> a very important one question number 9 a very important one question number 9 <coughs> when we want to check the linear relationship between the two variables which is the most commonly used formula a very important one if you want to check the linear relationship between two variables x and y then which formula will be used mostly we use regression equation regression equation is the correct option in the exam question number 10 Dear students, did you remember in the last lecture I discussed FPSC paper, solved paper of statistical officer and there was a concept and that has been repeated, I think. What is the graph that of the time series? And I told you it is called historiogram. That was the question in the last paper and in addition to I told you the graph of the frequency distribution. Is histogram. That was the question of the exam that graph of the time series is historiogram and that I told you in the last lecture in addition to that was for your knowledge for your concepts the graph of the frequency distribution is histogram now the question of the paper of yesterday is frequency distribution is represented by which type of graph and the answer is histogram that was the concept which i gave you in the last lecture a very important one the answer is histogram question number 11 what will be done when any value is missing in the time series a very important question and that question can be asked in the next papers in the time series data whenever any value is missing then what do you do we do adjustment by taking the average of the recent years the correct option is by taking by doing adjustment by taking the average of the recent years is the correct option question number 12 if we want to find rank correlation between the two variables which formula will be used a very important question we will use spearman's coefficient of rank correlation for finding the rank correlation between two variables spearman's coefficient of rank correlation is the correct option in the exam <coughs> question number 13 a very conceptual question if we have very conceptual question if we have alpha level of significance 5% then what percentage of confidence interval we have we have 95% confidence interval we are 95% sure that our value of the population parameter which can be mu which can be p lies between the given interval which we calculate by the help of the sample observations very important please keep in mind when level of significance is 5% it means we are 95% confident about the value of the population parameter that lies between the given interval which we have calculated from the sample observations 95% confidence interval is the correct option in the exam question number 14 a very important question in histogram the height of the rectangle shows what is that that signifies the height of the rectangle shows the frequencies for the respective classes frequencies will be the correct option in the exam question number 15 what is an other name of the regression method it is also called causal method a very important one Question number 16. One or two tail tests will be determined by 
द आंसर इज द ऑल्टरनेटिव हाइपोथिस एच वन ए वन टेल और टू टेल टेस्ट विल बी डिटर्मिंड बाय विल बी डिसाइडेड बाय विल बी कंक्लूडेड बाय ऑल्टरनेटिव हाइपोथिस एच वन नाउ आई विल डिस्कस लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ टू डेज लेक्चर विद यू पीपल एंड दैट इज वट इज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन कोफिशियंट ऑफ डिटर्मिनेशन एंड आर स्क्वेयर ये स्टूडेंट्स कोफिशियंट ऑफ डिटर्मिनेशन एंड आर स्क्वेयर आर सेम क्वेश्चन ऑफ डिटर्मिनेशन इज द नेम ऑफ द आर स्क्वेयर बेस्ट ऑफ लक असलकुम